got here at Scots College. You couldn't ask for a better venue or a vantage point from where we're watching the rugby up here, looking out over Sydney Harbour. So here's the start. First of the finals, or semi-finals, let's call it, and it could be a try from the very kickoff. St John's racing away, down towards the line, a couple of Farrow boys giving chase, but they won't catch him. And it's a try to St John's number 10, Harry Wright, from the kickoff. What a start. Try to Farrah to equalise, Tom Fuller. Seven points to seven five the score. Oh, what a tackle. Terrific defence by number 12 going across and grabbing him by the collar and pulling him out. That was Jackson Cowan who made the tackle. And that was a try saver. So it's one try apiece, just the conversion that makes the difference. And there's another try. Farrah going in. Yeah, strong defence there from, uh, from Farrah. Got the turnover. The conversion's unsuccessful, though. Lachlan Smith, the try scorer. Farrah 12, St John's 5. St John scored from the kickoff. Turnover and Farrah come away with it. Chance for another try for them. Oh, what a terrible pass.
Farris Ball, Jacob Williams, drop pass, picked up by Sean Campbell, Williams in, over the top, and a beaten tackle and that's all it takes sometimes in sevens, you beat one tackle and away you go. And it's a try to James Baker. Makes it 17 points to five. The best place to find the lovers of the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, tripping fast, and then we talk slow. Come over and start up a conversation with just me. This is the Midford Plate semi final between Farrah and St. John's. St. John's scored from the kickoff through Harry Wright, their number 10. But Farrah have come back with three tries. St. John's have it, but it's untidy ball. Oh, lovely little step. Classic winger play. He's got the man inside. Perfectly timed pass. Terrific play by number 10 into number 5. That was Harry Wright, the try scorer, into Harry Ford. And Harry Ford's over. Second try for St. John's, and they now have 10 points. So 17 10 here, people to get to come. That's half time. That's the score. 17 10. As the matches go on, I guess the, the uh, results should be getting closer and closer as we go into the pool rounds. And, and this is. Uh, this was third in pool A versus third in pool B. And they're playing for the Midford plate. Here we go for the second half. And Farah taking the ball nicely, unloading even better. St John's cross and cover defence. Strong run from Tom Maloney. Unloads back inside and it's going to be a try to James Baker. Great football from Farah, who early in the tournament were looking a little bit out of sorts against some powerful opposition. But in this match, they've shown what they can do. They are enjoying themselves. Twenty-two to five. There's the penalty of the conversion attempt, and it's wide. Twenty-two ten. Yeah, very entertaining try there, Peter. Uh, the Farrow boys supporting well and backing up on the inside, and passing was uh, to precision. Clever restart too, into the open spaces. Forcing St John's back deep, but a lovely little blind turn down the sideline, beats a couple of defenders. This is good stuff from St John's. Big overlap now here, Peter, on the left-hand side. Yeah, standing very flat. And look at the pace on this fella. He's gonna scoot away. 
Number 12, that's Jackson Gowan. The brightest spark in the team, it says in his profiles. Well, he was a bright spark there. And the conversion as well. So that narrows the scores to 22-17. Restart, nice and deep. Taken by Harry Wright. Beg your pardon, Brandon Humphreys. Oh, an intercept. It's going to be an easy try. And it's Connor Rogers, the Honey Badger Junior, as they call him, who scores under the sticks. And no mistake with the conversion. So it's 24 to 22 with that conversion. St. John's have hit back after being down in the first half for the whole of the first half. That can happen in sevens. Just one missed tackle or an intercept. Almost another intercept there, but referee's whistle had gone. Well, it'll be inter interesting to see how the fitness holds up here in the last four minutes of this, um, of the uh, midfoot plate. It'll be the telling factor, I think. The fittest team will probably be the one that kind of runs away with the victory. Yeah, it gets harder as the day goes on, that's for sure. By the time we get to the final, they'll be uh, really tested. We saw it in the New South Wales and Pats game. Players were just falling around all over the place. It was like a war zone. All right, with the ball. A grubber kick ahead, it becomes a sprint race and a beautiful bounce and it's a try. Perfect bounce for Brandon Humphreys. What a grubber through, it was perfectly placed. So that gives Farrah the lead again, 27 to 24. No conversion. So three points the difference. The people that know me best, the key that I won't forget. Too soon, can't keep on losing you. Two and a half minutes to go. Yeah, beautiful kickoff. Oh, big gaps in the centre. Nice ankle tap, but still Farrer have got it. Unselfish pass and he's dropped it. So St. John's back on the counter-attack. They've got the numbers, but uh, the referee's whistle's gone. Well, St. John's, can they go the length of the field? Peter, you know, 27-24, they've got an opportunity, but they're going to have to go the length. Well, they've got this big winger out here, Jackson Gowan, who scored the last try. He looked pretty fresh and quick. And it'll be the plan, I imagine, to get it across the line. But no, it's a Farrah ball and could be a try. There's nobody there. Too easy for Farrah. Tom Maloney goes in and increases the lead to 32 points to 24. Yeah, tight head uh, scrum victory set that one up. And you don't see many tight head scrums uh, uh, wins in the sevens format. So very impressive from the front row there from Farra. It was actually Lachlan Smith, number nine, scored. And a wonderful conversion there from the sideline as well. So Farrah 34 are now leading St John's 24 on the midfield plate. What an entertaining semi-final we've had here. 
The restart won't be long enough this time. Dodgy passes there, the referees pick them up and the scrum will pack down. Well, the boys from Nambour have enjoyed their trip down here playing in the Scott Sevens for the first time. Even though they haven't been on the winning side, they've played some sparkling football in this match. And they're going to go down. That'll be their competition. And Farrell will go on to the final of the Midford Plate after winning by 10 points, 34-24.